Yo, yo, yo. Happy whatever day it is. I can't even keep track anymore. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to Coach's Corner. We'll be together for the next nine minutes and 49 seconds. My name is Uriel Kame, founder and CEO of Healthpreneur. Today I want to talk with you about whether or not ebooks are killing your business online. I was on Clubhouse, which is a new social platform. Um, it's like everyone's talking about these days. If you're on Clubhouse, find me, Uriel Kame, uh, follow me and I'm doing some hangouts, I think, a couple times a week in there. Anyways, uh, I was on a Clubhouse Hangouts a couple days ago, and uh, myself and a couple other guys were leading the session, and one of the guys in the room who I've known for many, many years is a good dude, good friend, really awesome stuff uh, that he's done in the, in the industry. And one of the things that we were talking about was you know, some of the secrets to building a seven, multiple seven and eight-figure business. And one of the things I shared was, like really selling low end or low priced information is very challenging to make work. And so I talked about the importance of premium pricing with coaching programs. And he had a bit of a pickle with that, which totally understand, right? Because everyone's coming from their own perspective, right? And I, and I shared this because if you know anything about my first business, it was largely based on selling information. So eBooks, courses, et cetera. And then we had a couple of physical products like supplements, et cetera. So I mentioned this and I, part of the argument was, listen, like when people don't pay, they don't pay attention, right? So if someone reads a blog post, yeah, like it's not gonna do much for them. If they buy a $20 ebook, it's probably not gonna do much for them. And what he brought up was certainly valid, right? Which, you know, which is the assumption of like, well, just because people pay more doesn't necessarily mean that if they pay less, they're not gonna do the work. And I, and I agree with that. Like I've, I've, I've definitely got some value from eBooks. I've definitely gotten some value. I read books, I read at least two to three books a week. I love reading. And I'm the type of person who will extract value out of anything, it doesn't matter how much I pay. But my argument was on a percentage basis, it is more likely that a greater percentage of people are gonna take something more seriously if they commit a little bit more to it. And a greater percentage of people are gonna take things less seriously if they make a tiny investment in it, okay? So I'm not saying absolutes, I'm saying the probability is gonna be going either way depending on what I just shared. So that's just a kind of a bit of a background, a bit of context. And what I wanna share with you here is understanding that like whatever decision you make in your business has repercussions, has ramifications. And one of the ramifications you need to be aware of is if you decide to choose to sell ebooks or replace ebooks with books or low end, like low priced information, you have to understand the nature of that business model, right? If you, let's just use the example because everyone apparently talks about making $10,000 a month, like it's the be all and end all. Hey, listen, like that's a good starting point, okay? But raise your, like raise your vision, okay? 10K is good, but raise it big time. Anyways, let's just say 10K a month is the goal, right? So that's roughly 120,000 a year. So let's say you have a book, an ebook, you're selling for 20 bucks. Because when I started back in 2006, selling a $47 ebook was like, is doable. Now to sell that same ebook, it's like someone's already posted it has a blog post for free. It's much more challenging. Times have changed, right? We're in the information age, but we're also on the cusp of what I think, I think we're already in it to be honest, is the transformation age. We don't want more information, we want transformation, okay? And that's why selling eBooks is not gonna help people transform for the most part, okay? Some people for sure, but the vast majority of people, most likely not. Statistically, 90% of people don't even read past the first chapter of any book they buy. So how are we supposed to transform their lives if they only read one chapter, okay? So if you are selling eBooks at 20 bucks a pop and you wanna make $10,000 in one month, how many books do you need to sell? And the answer is 500 books, 500 eBooks or 500 whatever insert, you know, your thing for $20 a piece to make $10,000 in a month. Now, if that's not recurring revenue, guess what you have to do next month? The whole thing over again. Now, 500 different people clicking buy now on your website is 500 buyers. Now I've been doing this a very long time and getting 500 buyers is very hard unless you are a master at marketing. So let's look at the numbers. On average, 
a good, not a great, but a good sales page, right? So let's say you have a page that has information that's gonna sell your book, we call that a sales page. Let's say a decent one is converting at 1%, okay? So you need 500 buyers, okay? So 500 would be 1% of 50,000 visitors. 50,000, right? 10% of 50,000 is 5,000. 1% of 50,000 is 500. You need 50,000 people, individual people, landing on that web page so that 500 of them in this scenario can hit the buy now button. 50,000 people. That's a soccer stadium full of people. Now, let's say that you have a really big email list and you have 50,000 people on your email list. Now, if you are like most people, your open rates are probably not gonna be that much higher than 20%. So 50,000 people you send an email to, 20% of them open, which is 10,000 people. 10,000 people are not gonna click on the link inside the email. So let's just assume it's a 10% click-through rate, which is pretty average. 1,000 people are gonna click the link. So now, we need 50,000 people to go to the sales page, but in one email, you're only getting 1,000. Do you see the dilemma here? The dilemma is if you want to get 50,000 people so that 500 people can buy every month, not just once, every month, you have to send a whole lot of emails. There's only 30 days in a month. If you send 30 emails to 50,000 people at a 20% open rate, 10% click-through rate, you're still only getting 30,000 people to the page. And you still don't hit your goal of 500 buyers because we needed 50,000, right? You can only get 30,000 in this scenario. I'm not making these numbers up, guys. I'm like, these are actual stats, okay? Actual conversion rates. This is the reality. You have to be aware of this. So you're not even able to hit those goals. Now, here's the big assumption. How many of you guys, show of hands, have 50,000 people on your email list or more? Now, I can't see all of your hands, but I'm assuming 95% of you or more probably don't have 50,000 people on your email list. So what do you do? All right, you could reach out to partners and joint ventures and affiliates and do that whole thing. But again, they're only gonna mail to your offer if they make money on it. So you're selling a $20 ebook or book you need a massive backend, upsell flow, all these other offers to even make money on that. And then the majority of that money you're gonna to give to your affiliates. Okay, guys, can you see how depressing this becomes? The other option is you can pay for traffic, right? So you can run Facebook ads to a $20 offer. By the way, I wouldn't go direct to the $20 sales page, but let's just say you did. We need 50,000 visitors, right? So let's just say you pay 50 cents a click. That's $25,000 you've spent on your Facebook ads. $25,000 and you're only gonna be making $10,000 in return because 500 buyers are 20 bucks. Now, let's say you have an upsell flow and you add another $10 to each order. So it's, instead of $20, it's 30. You have 500 people who purchased at $30 each, you're still only making $15,000 and you spent 25,000. Do you see the problem with this model? Do you see why selling eBooks is not a viable solution? And guys, there's a very big difference between I sold a handful of books and actually hitting your financial objectives. It is very, very challenging to make this happen. Listen, like my first business was built on what I'm talking about. So I'm not just making this stuff and pulling it out of my rear. I like legitimately spent years doing this. I did it very well because that's all I knew at the time and I learned it. But I'll tell you this, guys, there's way better ways of building your business. The most successful people I know who are running this type of model, they're not making money on day one. They're breaking even in three months. So I don't know if you wanna run that kind of business, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyways, if you want to actually make money, think about this. What if I just worked with clients at a high level and I had a $3,000 program, a coaching package, then I just need three people a month, three and a half people a month to hit $10,000. Three people a month. Let's just say that that's, let's say you're terrible on the phone. That's let's say 10 conversations to get three yeses. Can you see the difference? You talk to 10 people instead of requiring 50,000 people to go to your website. Can you see why this is just a little bit easier?
Guys, like you gotta be very careful who you listen to and what you pay attention to online. I'm not saying you gotta do what I do and pay attention to me, but I'm saying when you are evaluating a business model, you gotta know what's going on behind the curtains. Because if you don't, you're in for some major problems with your business and I would not want that to happen to you. Anyways, if you want help getting clients, hit me up 647-424-5280. Listen, we'll help you get clients literally on demand, on autopilot, predictably. Is it easy? Not at all. It's a lot easier than running the ebook show that I just walked you through. And um, there we go. So anyways, hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it gives you something to chew on and think about. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.